Hello and welcome back to The Pin Man. I'm Mike West. And today our guest is the Zebra V301. The Zebra V301 fountain pen is one of the pens that I'm reviewing as a uh, under $5 series of pens. Uh, what I like about this pen is it's techy industrial type of uh, look to it. And as I go through the uh, tour of the pen, I will explain uh, more of, of that. Now I have some special comments to make regarding this fountain pen and it will be toward the end of the video. I won't tell you when and where, but it'll be there. So you'll want to stay tuned to, uh, to kind of get a little more insider view of this pen, the Zebra V301. Okay, now we are going to transition to some measurements as well as, uh, again, the tour of the pen, some size comparisons. It's kind of nice. It's a brush uh, aluminum, I believe, and with some textured uh, black plastic. But again, we'll go through that uh, when we do the tour. Okay, we'll see you on the other side. And now we have a tour of the V301, the Zero V301. The body is aluminum or perhaps stainless steel, but like a brush look to it. Very nice. The clip is tight, but works well. It's curved on both sides of it so that uh, easy on, easy off uh, from your pocket or other uh, place you want to put it there. The grip is comfortable grip. I really like the techie or industrial style of this pen with the chrome or the whatever, the aluminum and black. Here's a look at the body finial. As you can see it's just a basic black. And then on one side it just says China. The end is uh, has a step down to it there. Nothing fancy, but uh, there it is. Here's the cap finial. Just a circle on the top. Again, nothing fancy, but this is not a fancy pen. It's more of an industrial type look to it. And there we have the Zebra. <laughs> Had it right the first time. All right, so here you have the grip section and nib section. I really like the hooded nib there and there's the uh, bottom part of the feed be kind of neat to uh, cut this thing open just to see what's what's on the innards the grip is uh, textured and it's got uh, ribbing uh, both horizontally and vertically it's a comfortable grip and then there's this little nub there uh, it doesn't get in the way because you're not going to be uh, touching that part of the grip. And just to help the cap uh, click on there. Open it up. This uh, takes proprietary cartridges. I don't think it has any converters, but somebody said, I believe they said that um, it will take uh, Sailor. 
maybe some sailor uh, cartridge uh, converters. So just cartridge. The grip and uh, section there is uh, there. Are, it's all plastic there, but it's a comfortable pen in the hand. It's plenty long enough for to use unposted. It's got a nice weight to it. Not too heavy, not too light. That's why I believe it's uh, aluminum versus stainless steel, but. And the pen clicks on uh, nicely. Here we have a size comparison of the Zebra 301 fountain pen compared to the Lamy Safari, the Twisby Eco, and the Pilot Metropolitan. And here they are unposted and posted. Okay, now for a writing sample, we are using Rhodia paper. This is Zebra. A little hard start there. V301. This is a fine nib, and you know it because it is. Um, Kind of scratchy. I removed uh, this pin, which by the way, it does post, has this little click right there. So it posts securely. Uh, it does not feel back weighted really at all. Maybe it's because the, the cap is so short relative to the body and uh, it's being metal it's not really that heavy of a heavy a pin you don't really know it does stick out a little bit but not like some other pins when they're posted so but it will post okay i removed in order to try to get some ink flowing uh, through this pin hopefully it's not drying out here uh, i replaced the supplied uh, ink cartridge, it comes with two ink cartridges, and this thing came in a cardboard uh, wrapping with, uh, you know, the plastic, clear plastic around it. Uh, yeah, I was having trouble, as I'll explain a little bit, with the, uh, the flow of the ink. So I replaced, try to get that going. Uh, another reviewer uh, I read uh, re just replaced the ink in the cartridge. So that's what I did and I am using Monteverde brown sugar. Okay, as far as flow, yeah, it's doing pretty good right now. Uh, when I when I just got this thing opened, it I had to work with it. Sometimes you have to, one of the things I found with this pen, in fact, the first time when I was trying to use it with the other ink, I did get some flow, but it was, it was re with reverse writing. That's all I could do to write with this pen was reverse writing because I turned it over and there's no flow. So anyway, but I, I messed around and uh, finally got this thing going. Okay. Little hard start there, but I've been kind of holding this open. It's fine nib. Okay. All right. So that's good. Uh, line variation. You can get some line variation for a, a hooded nib and with just that little bit of the nib out there. That's, I, I think that's pretty good. Oops. Hard start. Okay. Turn it over. Try to get some. There we go. Okay, so so you can get some, 
line variation once you get the ink flowing and now it doesn't want to flow oh my goodness okay now see that's that's what I'm saying okay let's let's go ahead and do reverse writing then reverse writing it will do it and and extra find okay Writing increases brain power. Okay, uh, let's see. I did the reverse writing, flow, etc., etc. And uh, I, again, I'll, I'll explain my disappointment with this pen, but as you can see, there are issues with this pen. And therefore, ah, so you got to turn it over, kind of press down there to get some flow going. Okay, so while I got some flow going, let me say that this pen does not make me happy. Oh, I am, I am sorely disappointed with this pen. With the way it looked and everything, I was, I was pretty excited about, um, about buying this pen, but um, yeah. Um, I'm disappointed. So, but anyhow, there is the writing sample for the Zebra 3V301 fountain pen. Zebra, please do some work on this pen because I think I think this could be a very popular pen if you deal with the flow issues. All right, thanks. All right, I told you earlier that I had some special comments to make on the Zebra V301 fountain pen. My friends, when I, when I review a fountain pen, I like to do so in the manner of a gentleman that visited our, our photography club uh, one that I was in uh, years ago. And what we used to do as a club every month, we would not only show off our photos, but we would also invite in a guest, a professional of some sort, to critique some of our photos. We had this one guy that came in and he, he said that when he critiques, he only points out the positives of a photograph because he says if you can see what you're doing right then that'll help you to correct your wrongs and I agree with that in large part but sometimes when something really needs to be pointed out and that's why we do reviews is to help you the viewer to make a wise and informed uh, choice so here's what I'm going to tell you about this pen when you read the reviews of this pen, for instance, on jetpens.com, you're going to see some a, a wide variety of, of reviews. You're going, to, you're going to have your five stars, you're going to have the one stars, and that really help, happens with a lot of products. And you got to kind of weigh those because sometimes people just, uh, you know, are having a bad day, things don't work out exactly like they want, or they they just get a you know once in a million product that doesn't work and so they they do a bad review when I reviewed this pen on jetpens.com I gave it a one star I never I don't think I have ever given anything a one star review well I probably have but anyway it's rare with this pen the problems I have with this pen and you'll see those in the reviews that a lot of pe other people are having is that trying to get it going now oftentimes with a cartridge pen yes it takes a little bit you got to put the cartridge in maybe squeeze a little bit let it sit upright for around a half hour uh, maybe overnight to you know make sure that the ink flows into the chamber that's why that's why i like converters better than cartridges 
be that as it may, most pins, if you do that, they work. This pin did not work. I don't know how long it took me to get this pin working. Now in the converter, there's a ball. So I don't know if somehow that ball is just not the right size and you're sitting up there and it's sitting down, you know, in the cartridge plugging the hole so no ink can flow. That could be, that could be the issue. It could be that on the, uh, the nib section that there's not enough uh, a big enough hole to get airflow going there because if ink is to flow out, it's going to have to have uh, feeds are designed to allow air to come in. Whatever the reason is, this didn't this didn't work, and I flushed uh, as as you saw in the writing sample. I flushed the uh, the ink out of the provided cartridge. And I put uh, another ink in, and it still didn't, still didn't work. So again, I don't know what the issue was. I flushed this thing, I cleaned it, I did so much with this. And finally, I laid this thing on its side, so maybe that ball just kind of rolled down, and eventually some ink uh, started flowing and that's why I was able to do a review on that on this pen writing sample so uh, my personal opinion is unless you're willing to go through all of that to try to get this pen to work because it, it, it does have a cool design that's why that's one of the things that I was excited about you know for an inexpensive under five dollar pen you, you just don't find them that look like this so uh, if you're willing to take the knowledge that I've given you and run with that and say, okay, I'm going to buy this pen, but I know I got to do, take these steps to get it working. Uh, if you're willing to do that, go ahead and buy this pen. Like I said, it's a, it's a cool design. Uh, but otherwise, if you are, for instance, wanting to get an inexpensive pen to help somebody in their, uh, get them interested in fountain pens don't get on this pen don't don't waste your your money on this pen i mean yes it's less than five dollars but it's not worth turning somebody off uh, from fountain pens or frustrating yourself so next week i will be reviewing another zebra pen and that one will go much better all right. Thanks a lot. Take care. Hey, I want to thank you for taking time in your busy day to tune in to the Pin Man and to check out this, this review. And I encourage you to leave comments below that might not only help me to do a better job in reviewing uh, pins and pin related projects, but especially to help other viewers to know more about these products because maybe you have bought the pen based on my review or some others reviews and you have your own two cents to uh, to throw in there hey we're all just trying to help each other out so thanks again and again be sure to All right, and check out a couple of these other uh, videos that um, might be of interest to you. I hope so. All right, thank you and have a great day.